by the top, hit it in any. I got some cake. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, we are at PCS, aka home of Shootoonie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as you can see, we got the prelude. I got here a little bit early. I wanted to be traffic, and there was no traffic, which is crazy for my area. But anyway, we here, and it's time to get tuned. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys the quick rundown on pretty much what happened. Um, <clears throat> I came to get tuned uh, literally two months ago, um, and basically what happened was when I got here we were working through a lot of the bugs that I didn't even know it had um, one of the things was it was actually off one tooth um, it was kind of hard to tell with these aftermarket uh, cam gears <clears throat> they don't make these anymore I kind of see why it's very easy to be one tooth off and I like the OEM cams and then um, once we figured that out um, we were chasing like a it seemed like a misfire type issue or injector misfire something and I think we pretty much basically narrowed it down to uh, the distributor and so um, basically he wasn't able to tune it he all he was able to do really was put like a base map on it and I figure it's probably gonna be a few new people here so for those of you who are new this is my 1994 Honda Prelude um, people who have been on the channel know that I normally run F20Bs but this time around I went back to the OG so I got an H22 fully built H22 a pretty much a Brian Crower uh, entire kit um, I didn't build this motor I did buy it um, I, did, I covered that in, a, in another video um, <clears throat> same turbo 6266 precision 2200 cc injectors um, I did redo the entire fuel system, which I'm probably going to post that after this, um, like the whole revamp that I did to the fuel system. But the short story on that is I got a Magna Fuel 750 and I ran complete new lines all the way front to back. Um, most people go with the um, fuel cell, but I kept the OEM tank. I dropped it and I put a sump on it. Um, I may change that, but that's what I'm running for now. So my fuel system is capable of literally whatever I want it to be capable of, 1500 horsepower. Even though I'll never get <laughs> get that high anytime soon, it is capable. And kind of the point for that was to uh, basically redo the fuel system and never have to touch it again. <clears throat> so that being said, uh, like I said, I am early, but I'm just waiting on him to open up. But once he does, we're gonna get started. Uh oh, the gates of power are opening up. <laughs> What's going on, man? Some of it are plastic. 
plastic is on the wastegate, right below where the bung is. And then the rest of it is right where the clamp is. See, I don't see any snow. Well, not yet. It's like once it heats up. Still on gate right now. Uh, gate, I think it's like 10 to 12 pounds, something like that, about 12 pounds. Um, he's still on gate. He's only revved out to 7,500 so far. Uh, I plan on going to 80, at least 85, 8,800. So still got left, some left in it on the RPM range. But obviously, uh, it's only sitting at like 361 right now on 12 pounds. So boost controller is not even on yet. So, patiently grinding to where we want to be, pretty much.
so I didn't really get a chance to film um, an outro, uh, mainly because the session didn't go as planned. Um, the short story is basically, um, <clears throat> we were battling fuel pressure issues and then we had a sudden power drop out of nowhere. Um, it took us a few hours to figure out what happened, about an hour and a half to figure out what happened. And essentially the cam gears, um, they are the adjustable ones and at some point throughout the tune, the screws loosened up enough for the cam gear to actually spin and it was basically made itself a tooth off. Um, once we figured that out, uh, we actually put the cam back in place, retightened it, and it was literally like 11.30, almost 12 o'clock, and we both agreed it was late. And so he did one final pour, which I didn't record. Um, it made uh, about the same power that you saw in the last one. Um, keep in mind that that's an all-wheel drive dyno, so you have to add like 10%, which is not much more. It's probably looking at like 460 something or 470, which is well below where I wanted to be. Um, but it did make some power, but the main issue that we ran into was on that last pool, the clutch went out. So you can imagine I was probably definitely not in the mood to record that um so basically we're gonna have to pull this trans apart and see what's going on and, and why the clutch went out so that being said if you guys like the video um share and you see that right there yeah go ahead and hit that that's the subscribe button hit that and i'll see you guys on the next one Okay. Out of my wrist, count it and spin it. Man at the coupe, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it and lean it. I got some cake.